Hello Holly Dove friends and welcome back to another Magical Art and Science Monday with Miss Daisy. Today we will be doing salt painting and I'm so excited to do this with you and I hope you have lots of fun. So just getting into the materials that we will be using, we will be using some cardstock to do our painting on, watercolor paints, a brush, of course some salt, glue, a little bit of water, and a bowl to shake off the excess salt, which you will see later. So our first step is to draw an outline of what we will be painting today. I chose flowers just because March is right around the corner and I'm super excited for spring. But the outline that we will be drawing is basically to give us an outline for what we will be gluing onto, which we will then paint afterwards. So you can um, draw as many or as little things as you want. Just know that that's what you're going to be gluing afterwards. So like this part in the middle here, you could choose to leave blank, but I'm choosing to fill the whole thing up because I want that painted. So like I said, the next part is we are going to be gluing on the outline that we drew. And you want to be careful because the glue comes out really fast as I just learned. Um, but you can add as much, as much or as little glue as you want to. Um, just remember that what, like how much, how much you add will be exactly what you will be painting. So I'm going to glue the whole petals, but I'm going to keep the center um, empty of any glue. And this is the final product with all the glue on top of it. Next is the fun part, which is sprinkling the salt on top of our glue. So I'm going to get my bowl ready. Like I said, we're going to dump off any of the extra salt into the bowl. And the easiest way for me at least is just to sprinkle the salt directly on top of the glue. So following that same exact outline as before, um, but that's why we have the bowl, um, so if you put too much salt, we can easily just shake it off. And you want to make sure that the glue is completely covered, because if it's not covered with salt, then the watercolor will not stay on top of it. And if you painted, um, if you put the glue close to the outline like I did, be prepared to have a little bit of salt on your table. <laughs> If you want to avoid make, making any mess with the saw, I would recommend getting a piece of cardboard or a paper bag to put underneath your paper so you can easily just throw it away if you don't want to deal with the mess. Okay, so as you can see, I have a lot of um, saw all over my paper trying to show you without dropping it everywhere but that's how it should look you should want your glue to be completely covered so now i'm going to get my bowl and try to dump it in there without making too much of a mess <laughs> okay here we go give it an extra shake oh see what i mean lots of salt everywhere <laughs> Give it some extra shakes just to be sure it's all off. And this is what it should look like. So as you can see, it's pretty raised off the paper, which is a good thing. And the salt is covering all of my outline. If there are some pieces that didn't get salt, you can just grab the bowl with all your salt and um, do it again. Mine look like they are all covered with salt, so I'm not going to do that step. But again, just giving it some extra taps to get any extra salt off of it. Now we get to our final step, which is painting our salt painting. So I have a little um, jar full of water to dip my paintbrush in so that you can easily get your paint wet. Um, you can use a bowl or a cup or a jar, um, really anything that you can hold your water into. So we're going to give a little 
you're gonna wanna get your paintbrush a little bit wet, wet enough to pick up the paint. And we're gonna start painting. So the easiest way is to select your color. So I'm just gonna start off with green to show you all how it looks. And you're going to want to do a dabbing motion. So let's see if we can get closer here. So you're just gonna dab on the salt and see how quickly that soaks up and spreads. So you're gonna wanna do it very gently because it picks up the color really quickly. So we're just going to do that for the rest of our painting. And if you press harder, it's going to give you a darker color. Um, so it's up to you how hard or softly you want to dab the paint in there. So the more water you get onto your paint, the faster it'll spread out. So I'm going to basically like add a couple of droplets of water into my paint so that it's just easier for me to paint over the salt and get my paintbrush really full of that paint. So here is how my painting is looking so far. Okay, so now that this is drying off a little bit, I just wanted to give you an update on the same one as before and show you how it's kind of like crystallizing and the colors are mixing more together. This is my second one. And there's that. So the colors really diffuse together because of the water. So just keep that in mind when you're putting two colors side by side, they might mix together a little bit. And here is my finished product. If you want, you can go ahead and paint the rest of the paper. I think I'm just going to add a little bit just to see how it looks. So this is my final product. As you can see, even after painting over it, the salt is still very raised. Um, after the salt dries off completely and starts flaking off over time, um, your painting will still be looking amazing because after the paint seeps in through the salt and touches the paper, it keeps the outline of the paint. So you don't have to worry about your creation getting messed up, it'll still look so great. Thank you all for joining me for Magical Art and Science Monday and for making this really cool project with me. I hope, I hope you all had lots of fun and please remember to leave a photo of your creation so we can see how you made yours. And also don't forget to like and comment for a chance to be entered into our sun goodie bag drawing. Thank you all for joining and I'll see you all next time.